Boys and girls, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can make your very own collage and using mosaic tiles make this gorgeous corn on the cob art project. Now what you're going to receive, and let me just pull this to the side, is a sheet of brown paper. Always remember to put your name on the back of your artwork, okay, so that we know that it belongs to you. This is going to be your background. Now here you're going to get a smaller piece of yellow paper and you're going to get a template. Now what you're going to do with that template is you're going to trace it around that shape with a pencil. So put it tight to the edge of the yellow paper and trace around that shape. Okay, and the reason why I'd like you to have it tight to the edge is that we're going to see if we can get two out of one sheet. And we can just about get that, two out of one sheet. So don't make it that it's sitting on top of each other, overlapping, that they're side by side. Now once you've traced those shapes out, you're going to get your scissors. And you can see there, I've actually got two corner of the cob shapes. You're going to get your scissors and best scissor control you're going to cut those two shapes out and that's going to be the start of your corn. And when you've got them cut out they should look, there's one there, they should look like that. I'm just going to show you, demonstrate with one so far and I'll show you the finished product with the second one. With a crayon, I've got a green crayon, draw from the bottom up or from the top down some curved lines just about four, three or four. Now if you're familiar with corn on the cob, corn has kernels and that's what we chew off. Get in your glue stick, if you run a gluey line between those um, crayon lines and then using these collage tiles, and these are actually mosaics, place a tile along that glue line. Now what I ask you to do is don't put the same colour side by side so if you find that you've got a colour that's the same just turn it over and you've got a new colour on the back. Okay like the black here you can see is actually oops, is white so if I wanted to put a white one there and continue until you fill your corn on the cob shape up with little kernels. Now these are mosaic tiles and what mosaic is you can use pieces of paper and um, tile and glass and you actually create a picture with, with the little tiny shapes. They don't overlap, they go side by side and this is just the start of us using these tiles so that we get familiar with the term mosaic. Okay, and as we get deeper into our lessons you're going to be doing more mosaic and more um, tile work. You can actually be using the real thing. So let me just put a few more down and when you continue doing that until you finish it you should end up with a corn that looks like this. Okay so you can see the difference. This one I've only just started. You can see my my crayon lines and my glue line. I'm doing one glue line at a time and I'm filling it in. So until you get that and you've got it all filled in you're going to fill in both of them and then what you're going to receive, and I'm just going to again show you just with this one's completely finished, is then you get an image that looks like this, that I've already pre-drawn. And you see the black line, you're going to get your scissors, and again this is all to do with controlling your cutting, improving your skills. Okay, so I'm going to cut around that. We don't want to glue down our corn on the cob just yet. And I'm going to show you why, there's a reason why. Okay, so just bear with me while I get this cut out. There we go, we'll move that and we're going to put that in the recycling afterwards. Now you see where there's some black lines, we're going to turn it over. So we don't want the black line showing, we want to turn it over and we've got a nice clean image. And this is what I'm going to do, I'm going to do that. And even though this one isn't finished yet, I'm going to do this as well. So I've got two. Now corn on a cob needs something to grow on, needs something to attach to. So I'm going to give you all a strip. Now if you're very good at cutting, you can see this one here, I've actually started cutting a wavy line. And if you can, just cut 
more like a wavy line with scissors. You don't have to draw it in. So you've got it that it's it looks like it's growing up. If you can't and you're not too sure, just leave it straight. Just use the bar that I've given you, the bar of green. Now I'm going to put that there and that there and that there. And when I'm happy with that, then with a glue stick, I'm going to stick that all down. And the very last thing that you would do then is when it's all stuck down is to get your crayon and draw some extra leaves and vines so that it shows your corn on the cob is growing in a great big field with other corn and if you want you can actually add in some sunshine and some clouds you can add your own details and you can do some birds flying in the distance if you wish that boys and girls is how you create your project okay so now it's your turn let's go make some art <laughs> 